World War II and Korean veterans and very shortly Vietnam veterans to see the memorial in Washington free of charge. And then each one of the veterans is on the guardian that will make sure that they don't fall or hurt themselves or whatever. So there's somebody there always with them to basically make sure that they don't get hurt. Now our mission is to take each and every veteran that signs up to go to <clears throat> with our flight. And we leave from MacArthur Airport early in the morning and um, fly to Baltimore and then board a bus, have a nice box lunch, and then go to the World War II Memorial first. After that, we um, venture down to the Korean Memorial and um, take a, a nice group photograph as well. And um, then we had uh, a few people venture over to Korea. This last trip that we had, um, we had somebody that signed up last minute. He was a, a Vietnam veteran, and his wife says that he didn't have much time left. And he, <coughs> Want to see his memorial. <coughs> so we did take him down, and um, he said he really enjoyed it, which I'm sure he did. And the point was, a month later, he passed away. Got me crazy. But anyway, got to get away from that. What we do is, I'm the photographer for the group, and I'm sorry for my emotions. And I'm the photographer, <clears throat> and each person at, uh, that's a veteran that's going with us. We put up a flag and we take their photograph. And at the end of the journey, like a, a couple months later, everybody gets a book like this that went along with us. Through our journey, we get to meet people like this gentleman here, uh, Senator Bob Noel, and his wife Elizabeth occasionally. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole book, but also get a very nice motorcycle escort into Washington. And this photograph says it all. This is this is huh. the World War II Memorial, and. Um, we take a group photograph there, and basically we have about 100 vet, uh, 50 veterans and 50 people that are guardians. Every one of these guys that has been on this journey will come back and <clears throat> become very emotional. Not like me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when they get back to the uh, airport in Carthage, we have a large welcoming party there that pretty much so fills up the entire room. I mean, over 500. And uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh, I had the privilege. We went to, for the first time, we went to the um, Women's Memorial, which is quite exciting. And I met General Bought there. And she was an outstanding lady and uh, welcome to all of our veterans, including some of our uh, Army and Navy nurses and that. So with the, the honor flight is supported by the generosity of these children here and other businesses in our community. Um, it, it is quite expensive. Uh, it costs us about $400 a person plus extras, and everybody gets a t-shirt and um, I would have to say they have one heck of a good day. Uh, when we get back, I... Another interesting thing about this is that <clears throat> the people that we meet, a veteran, um, we'll get attached to them. And I'll give them a call for Christmas or their birthday or we'll take them out to lunch. This Friday, I'm going up the island <clears throat> and we're meeting with some veterans and taking them out to lunch. 
so <clears throat> we get pretty attached. Anyway, um, I guess the next thing I want to cover is the fact that I see the room is full of veterans here, and anybody that would like to go on this journey to Washington, and I guarantee you, you'll have a good time, and you deserve going and seeing your memorial. See me after this ceremony, and I'll give you an application, and you can send it in to Pete Bennett at Southampton Town Hall, and we'll get you on the uh, list. First come, first serve, and that includes Vietnam vets, which we haven't been taking yet, but will be taking. So sign up, and maybe it'll be in a year or so. But nonetheless, get on the list. I promise you a good time. I've been doing this for about eight years now, and um, I had a hip replacement, and I couldn't go, and I uh, had my son go for me. And I just sat home, and I just like, darn it. <laughs> and I, I love what I do. So again, thank you everybody for, and children for your contribution to these wonderful veterans. And veterans say, we thank you very much for the part of our heart.